Today I'm going to show you how to use the flow mapping capabilities in Gigamon products to create simple, user-defined workflows for delivering relevant network traffic to your tools. This type of capability is important as the number of specialized tools that analyze network traffic multiplies. In this example, we'll create a flow map to deliver traffic from a specific application server to a performance analysis tool. We can choose to pass all traffic to the tool, but since we only want to send data related to the application server we'd like to monitor, we'll select the option to pass a subset of traffic based on criteria we define. Next, we'll select the desired network and tool ports for this flow map. Many tools don't need to access all traffic to be effective. It can be difficult for them to keep up with all the traffic as network speeds and data volumes increase. Gigamon products can help by enabling traffic filters based on over 30 predefined parameters from layers 2 through 4, including IP version 4 or IP version 6 addresses, application port numbers, VLAN IDs, MAC addresses, and more. In this case, we'll create a rule based on the specific application server's network address. With our first flow map built, we can adapt and scale the approach easily. If another tool wants to see the same traffic, we can simply add the tool port to the current map. Or, if a tool needs to analyze different subsets of the network traffic, delivering the relevant traffic is as simple as adding additional parameters to the existing flow map. Using flow mapping to deliver relevant data to your tools gives you granular control over your traffic streams, optimizes tool performance and visibility, and enables you to easily manage access to traffic as your network scales. Interested in learning more about the flow mapping capability in Gigamon products? Visit www.gigamon.com to schedule an introductory conversation with one of our product experts.